All right, so I have this video that I want to play in my Unreal Engine project. I want to put it on this TV screen. But when I put it in Unreal Engine, it's very stuttered, it's locked like crazy. So let me show you. I put it into sequence and entire project is like frozen. This rotating thing is not moving. It's supposed to be rotating. Cannot do anything right now. It lasts for 10 seconds. Here we go. Now rotates. Now I can move around. And when I like click play, uh, my camera, you see camera is moving, but video is not moving. It's supposed to move with the camera, right? But uh, it's super stuttery, super laggy, and it's not working at all. So how do we fix that? All right, it, there is also uh, uh, this error in output log, blocking media playback, timed out, disabling it for this playback session. It's like when it freezes for 10 seconds. Uh, how do we fix this problem? Uh, we need to change video decoder to Electra. So let me close sequencer. Uh, we go to plugins, look for Electra. Electra. Here is Electra player, Electra codec. And if you use uh, WebM, activate this VP8 and VP9 for WebM, like for Linux playback of videos or whatever. Uh, and we need to restart engine. So let's restart right now. So after restart, let's open sequence again. And uh, it's already not freezing my rotating thing, it's already better. And let's see how it works. Click play, and here we go. A video is playing with my camera movement. We can scrub around. It's kind of still kind of slow, but at least it does not freeze my entire project. And when I click play, it plays with camera movement. Uh, so basically decoder uh, changed automatically when we enabled Electra in the plugins. If it didn't change automatically for you, uh, let me show you how to change it manually. So we open like media plate or media player, whatever you're using. And we go to like open media plate thing. And in here you can see uh, like when it's playing, you can see Electra player currently is the current decoder. Uh, if your if your player uh, like says something else, like WMF video or whatever, go to playback options, decoder, and change it to Electra here. So by default, uh, Unreal Engine uses this uh, WMF media. And after we activated Electra player plugins, uh, default settings change to play this Electra by default. And so that's it, really simple, simple fix. Um, now, if, uh, if you don't know how to set it up, like to play video in sequencer and to scrub around, uh, I can also show you now, uh, just, you know, since I'm here. <laughs> uh, uh, it's pretty simple. Let's just add a video file to Unreal Engine. This MPEG4. Now it's inside. Now we drag it into the into the level, and we get media plate object created for us automatically. We can move it around, resize it, whatever. Uh, now let's put this object into sequencer. Uh, let's create cinematics level sequence. And when it's selected in the viewport, we click this track at actor to sequencer at test video. Uh, would we like to disable autoplay? Yes. And here we go. Now we can scrub around it. Uh, it automatically changed uh, scale to be like to aspect ratio of the video. So we can uh, like reset whatever our own. Uh, you know, settings. So now we can like, put it on TV, uh, like this, like this, like this, like this, kind of. 
is uh, yeah and you see uh, and now we can pl hit play and it's gonna work like still kind of stuttery <laughs> but better than this previous codec you can see colors are kind of blown out too bright so to fix this uh, we can um, change material of the media plate right now it's the default material uh, we click this browse to material and you can just copy past it to our project I can test videos copy here to rename it to uh, my test copy and select it in the in the in the media plate object my test copy here it is and now let's adjust it a little bit uh, by default it's translucent let's change it to uh, to a pack let's see it's gonna be better it's not better it's same <laughs> let's let's change it to default lead maybe still not change shit <laughs> let's do this all right something is happening here we go <laughs> so basically uh, what i did i changed blend mode to a pack shading mo model to default lead and uh, change pin from emissive to base color and now colors are kind of kind of better you know experiment with it now you know how to experiment and you go and experiment uh, so that's it uh, let me show you my initial sequence because it looks awesome that's it for tutorial